Hello and welcome back to Tharic Place, Slay the Spire, and let's continue our current run. That's gonna be fun. Okay, we do want a shop now, pretty much, as early as possible. It is not the only shop on the map. So we could also skip this one if we get a more favorable start, which it doesn't look like it though. So we are gonna jump in right here and go for the shop right away. Memorize you. Dagger throw. Well. I kind of want the blur card. But I think we do this. Acrobatics. We dagger throw again. Get rid of the defend plus. So that's six. I'm gonna risk it. We do this instead. Ah, okay. I get the melee. So unfortunately, I don't get the... I don't get the kill on him instantly, which I really would have liked, because his explosion damage would have just evaporated into us, pretty much, into the block. We would have not taken any damage here. Now I'm gonna have to be a bit more careful with what we do there. But still, overall, a pretty good turn. And this turn obviously plays itself, we just kill him and don't take any damage. And the two repulsors aren't an issue, so we got a pretty quick kill here. That's fine. The deck is strong enough, I think, but against Donu and Dekka, we are still missing stuff. Overall, uh, I think, yeah, and with the Dace cards, obviously, we can't do anything. So yay for that. Could I just please stop drawing frickin' Dazes? We can go to discard one for a change. There we go. Just be so that I can play all of my cards. That Tingsha pickup was so good for us. That's one. And we're actually gonna take damage. Did they, the Dace cards always used to go into all of, both of them into the, the draw pile? I used, I, didn't it go 1-1? One, one? Or am I mixing stuff up right now? I might be. Obviously, but I don't know. At least the Tingsha is gonna help quite a bit here. But I, I think I remember that not being the case, because this is not normal. We didn't use to draw that many days cards here, pretty much. That's weird. But I might be misremembering things. It's been a week since I've played the game, basically. And with it being early access and always evolving, I'm just... I'm really not sure right now. Because this is horrible, and makes you prioritize the repulsors a lot more, I think. Um, predator here. And what do we get with this? We do want to remove a defend, I think. Yeah, they, they always change stuff in the patch of Sinagun, but I might also be misremembering things, so I'm just not sure. Um, I think I'm going to take the Blood Vial here. I'm not sure about if, if I want to take uh, take bullet time here. It's not bad, of course, but it's also really expensive. And I think the Bag of Marbles might actually be better for us. Or just remove a card. I think I'm going to remove a Defend here. Uh, maybe pick up a Flash of Steel? But no. Yeah, we're gonna leave it at that. So after this fight... Ooh. Yes, please. I think I'm gonna try. So I took the Blood Vial because it allows us to heal at the start of combat. Pretty much. But yeah, we'll see if that's gonna play out or not. This, Tingsha. So we leg sweep, calculated gamble, I think, with this. Means I can also make him vulnerable via terrorize. We're not gonna take damage this turn. And the blur card might have been better, but I wanted the weakness on him for two turns right now. 
But yeah. Once he's dead, we're gonna be okay. I hope. Fatix, we get rid of... Ooh. All non-attack cards. Now let's get rid of the survivor right now. Okay, we've got this one. Draw a card. We discard Predator because I can't play it, so we discard it right away again. He's dealing 10. I think we're okay with that somewhat, though. Because we do want the damage against him, mostly. Just get the quick kill here. We only take four out of this right now. That's not too bad. That card draw is horrible, though. Holy crap. Yeah, that's just bad. And this is a big problem. And I don't remember it being this way. I think they might have changed this, which makes this event even harder. Because you need to kill him first, but these guys just fill up your deck so quickly now. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, what's up with this? Because we take 15 damage again. Yeah, I regret doing this event. I think I might have killed myself with this event, pretty much, since I've got a, I've got only two cards here that are actually going to do anything, and none of them kill anything. Yeah, I'm dead. Basically, this is just horrible. Because they always give me four cards now that go into my draw pile. Well, three cards. No, what? What? Yeah, actually five. I'm dead. We're just dead. Straight up. What the hell? Okay, I did not think about this. Holy crap. What was that? Since when do they do that? I'm very sure they didn't used to do that. It's... it's ridiculous. That fight is now so much worse. I'm pretty sure that wasn't that way. I, I would be completely insane if, if that wasn't the case. I... I don't understand this. They... I think they patched that. They kinda... I don't know. I think they did, but... I might be mistaken. I need to... let me check the patch notes. Is there something in the patch notes here? I need to know this now. Gameplay. Uh, Walk cry. Bug fixes, localizations. Where did they change that? They might not have, but... I still think it wasn't this way, because it didn't used to be this way, I think. What am I missing? I don't know. Apparently, I it's I'm pretty sure it wasn't this way, but I might be mistaken. It's fine. I mean, it's not really because we want we finally had a winning run on the the silent again. It's and I'm so annoyed that I screwed this up again with this because I wanted to go for this because I thought we had enough damage. Okay, let's try this again. I have to say I'm kind of stopping to like the silent right now because I'm it's the the the. The fifth or sixth run in a row that I failed Ascension 2, which is just highly annoying. But it's also the grind we have to endure, basically. Won't really get around it. <sighs> it's just a bit annoying, pretty much. So I could, if I go with Niao's Lament again, we might make it to this elite. 
for this elite uh, on one HP, thanks to this one. I don't really want to lose max HP, even though removing cards would be nice. We could also upgrade a card, but I think I'm going to go with a Lament again and just see if uh, that works for us. But yeah, it is what it is. We are going to try again, but I am getting a bit annoyed at that. Uh, it's just I feel unfortunate. Oh boy. I don't really want to pick up any of these. Since none of these really... Crippling Poison is just bad, in my opinion. Bane is not bad, but we can't guarantee poison cards, so it's not that good. It's just minimally better than a basic strike. I could pick up Finisher. Because it's basically like a strike, but just better. But we once again, we can't really know what we're going to get, but I guess Finisher is better than nothing. Then it's better than skipping here right away. Yeah, we would like to remove a card. In that case, we're going to go with the basic strike, of course. And let's just see how that goes. Yeah, the finisher is obviously good if we get to go for a shift synergy. But we're gonna have to wait and see if that happens. I mean, I'm gonna try to go for it now, even though we don't have any shift cards yet. Uh, we're just gonna try to make that happen, I guess. Oh boy. Oh, okay, we get the letter opener right away. Interesting. And okay, we don't get the elite. Uh, we don't get the elite... For free, basically. That's a bummer. Cloak and Dagger, thank you. Which means in this case I'm gonna go for this elite. And just smith something here. We probably also want... Cloak and Dagger plus for the two ships. Right away. Although I might have want to go with Neutralize again. But we'll see. Ooh, Apotheosis could have been good. Let's see, after image, as per usual, probably real good. I kind of want to remove a card, though. But I think after image might be the way to go here. But no, we want to we wanna keep our deck small so that I can go for more cloaks and dagger. So we remove another strike. And we don't get anything else here. Yeah, although the dagger spray is really good. Nah, it's fine. So let's see what kind of elite we get, I guess. Okay, it's the sentries. I do have a block potion, if need be. So, we're all good. We don't take damage. We've got our shift set up already. So now we can start to deal some damage. Hmm, okay. Logan Dagger, so one shift, two shifts. Defend, defend, we don't take damage, or we go in with a finisher, which means we take a bit of damage, but he goes down to 3 HP. I think I like that more right now. That way we get a guaranteed kill, and we only take 5, and 5 damage needs to be okay right now. Oh wow, okay, yeah. well, whoops, they're actually better than the basic strikes at this point. Um... With the accuracy, uh, so I should have used the strike there and hit him with, with two shivs instead. That would have been a little bit better. So teensy misplay. Let's do this. We do have the letter opener, which I need to remember. With the shiv build that we're now starting to get going, it's not the best thing. But with cloak and dagger and all the stuff, it can work well, I think, basically. Uh, but yeah, picking up the finisher might turn out to be the right call. We'll we'll see though, pretty much. Let's see. Go with the fast mode here, by the way. Get some of these things moving along a little bit smoother. Can't get the kill there, so we take damage again. The dace cards as annoying as ever, but ah well. Wow, really. And this is going to deal zero damage, exactly. I mean, I just wanted to make sure 
That's the downside of finisher. If I don't have any attacks, we're just not dealing damage. Oh, come on. I'm already not happy with the dazes again. I had a... We had four normal cards and seven dazes. So I had a 4 and 11 chance to draw... No, a 5 and 12 chance because we drew one normal card there. Uh, to draw something decent and it's just not happening. Well, thank you, game. I also shouldn't have played Survivor here because that way I just put another daze in my deck. Instead of letting it get exhausted. But in this case, it's also not the end of the world against him. We're gonna be okay with this. Just one more. So I hope we're gonna be fine. Oh, we get the ninja scroll. That is really nice right now. Do I want any of this or do we skip? I think I want the Predator card there. And now, with this, we would we need we will fight an elite as long as I don't go all the way to the right with just three fights, and I don't want that. Which means we probably wanna go left, fight this elite, take the shop, and then take these events instead. That probably gives us the most. It's the main issue is that I risk an elite fight there, which is a problem. The Vajra pickup is pretty Good, though. And we get a Lagavulin. Oh my god, thank you. Okay, we get accuracy right away. Yeah, this starting turn is pretty awesome. So neutralize. Predator. One, two, three. So he's down to 75 HP. Let's throw out the poison potion as well. Just for good measure. Uh, get him killed quickly. We draw two additional cards. Thanks to... Predator right now. He's dealing 18. Okay, I take four. He's down to 34 already. Yeah, we're gonna be perfectly fine here. Our damage is really high right now. 16, 23. Okay, it's not enough, unfortunately. So we get rid of the finisher. Thirteen and strike, or do I use the block potion? I think we use the block potion and go in with predator instead. That way, I don't take damage. We lose the potion, yes, but still, he's he's dead now, so we're good. Really quick one. The regal pillow is nice. I can work with that. An expertise is a new card for me, at least. Uh, draw cards until you have six in hand. Do we want or need that? Probably. The backflip is also real good, though, for us. And the additional card draw, I mean, it's good here, but is it useful enough right now with this? I actually don't know. Slice is also not bad because of the uh, finisher. Yeah, it's backflip or slice with this right now. I think I'm actually going to go with the slice, as weird as that might be. I think that's okay. Let's upgrade accuracy. Yeah, I agree. And with our energy right now, it's it's not that good right now, I think, uh, for the most part. Okay, wow. I need to rest. We're at 22 HP. That could be good enough. Okay. Do I want a dagger throw? Mm. It's my last attempt, so I could go with a dagger throw, but I don't think so. We want... The alchemize was here, wasn't it? Yeah, we'll take the alchemize instead for the potion play. Ultimately. Oh my god, really? Yeah, this is horrible. It's five damage. Do I just use the strength potion here? I should have picked up the dagger spray.
Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. A letter opener. That's five damage to each. Good thing I haven't killed one yet, because now I can take a lot of damage out of the equation. I've completely ignored that one already. But that comes in perfect right now, so we don't actually take any damage. Whew, okay, we got lucky there. I completely ignored that um, that letter opener there. Uh, that saved us right now. Uh, so it turns out a dagger spray might not be the worst idea. Now it might have been too late. Let's rest. We need the regal pillow. We need the... The HP here, and we get the slime boss again. But yeah, Dex Potion, we alchemize. There we go. So we've got a fire potion. Against him now. If we want to. So I can force him to split next turn, which we are going to, I believe. Um, even though this turn is just really bad. Let's just do this, this, and I think I'm even gonna... No, we're gonna allow him to split at 48. Neutralize. Cloak and dagger, please. One shiv, two shivs, and a strike. So, he's gonna split down at 17. Yeah, I think we're gonna be good. We are at 49 HP. That should be more than enough to uh, finish the job here. Especially... Uh, especially since we, we killed a lot of damage here already. We took some, but ultimately not enough... Predator, he is not splitting yet, but he's really close. And with a little bit of luck, we might be able to get him to split in uh, this turn. Or not split this turn, just die this turn. But not quite. Close, though. I mean, they're down to 3 HP, so you don't really have to be worried. And we probably want the Storm of Steel. I mean, Nightmare is good, but it's difficult to enable. After Image is also really nice with Shivs, of course. Do I have the card draw to support Storm of Steel, though? I also... I think uh, it's been a while since I've picked this card, but I think they patched it in the meantime. And now it's no longer going to go down to 1 energy. It's going to stay at 2 energy. Uh, but it gives us Shiv Plus if we upgrade it, so we get higher damage Shivs, don't we? So the after image might be better for our block overall. For what we play. Yeah. But no, I want the damage out of the shifts, I think. I can't pick Sozu here. Hey, Najazu. Um, it would completely take any value out of Alchemize. So I'm going to risk the Cursed Key instead, which means we do gain Curses now. Okay, that's the, 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 the champion, isn't it? I forgot what he's called right now, the, the, the basic guy that metallicize, whatever it is. Thingamabob. Right now I'm thinking this way, go for this shop. That's a lot of combat there. Where do I get the most campfires? We would go here. Yeah, I don't think the amount of campfires changes. All the way on the right we get the most, but it's also literally no events. So I'm going to go with my initial idea, I think. Yeah, the knight. Uh, I just forgot what he's called right now. The potion is nice. Um, let's see, with this, defend, defend, ladder opener, finisher, there we go, and I don't take damage, yeah, okay, we're good, I didn't want to use a potion here. Another one, so he's down to 12 already. Damage-wise, this was really good. 
uh, ultimately, and we can just kill him now, so let's do that. Might have been my quickest kill against this guy ever, but yeah, let's just work with this. Ooh, no, once again, no. I like it a lot, actually, but I can't afford to lose max HP here, so it just it, it gives us so little room for, for error. Basically, it's, it's not okay. One, two. Once again, a nice start. Not quite what I was hoping for, because we did not have our, our accuracy card here, pretty much. But still, I'm not taking damage, and we do also just instantly kill him. Yeah, the finisher pickup was kind of awesome. <laughs> uh, do I want to take dash? I think we skip these, actually. Acrobatics is nice, but I think uh, we don't want to increase our deck. Yeah, that was actually a blind pickup that worked well, Psynagoon. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy about it, obviously. And also just getting the, the ninja scroll on top of everything there is just kind of awesome. go so that one's gonna hurt though you know what let's gonna drink let's just drink this one get to defend again we do this and that means i only take two damage that's fine that's better and thanks to alchemize i can get another potion anyways uh so we're good let's do that right now strength potion huh yeah this one's pretty bad let's weaken him And then a strike and a defend, probably. Take a little bit less damage out of this. Yeah, the Sneko is not being that nice to us. Now it's 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 turning around, pretty much. Ooh, no. This, this, and there we go. Energy potion I like a lot, though. I don't need the Sucker Punch Plus. I am thinking about picking up another Predator card, though. Would be our second one, but it could work pretty well. But it's real expensive, so I think we most likely skip these. But damage-wise, it's just so nice, and the extra card draw is really valuable. I think I'm gonna go with my gut feeling again and just go for it. Okay, I wanted to go for this shop. Let's see what we get here. Uh, we are certainly going to pick up the infinite blades. I'm going to pick up choke on sale as well. We are going to remove a basic strike. No, we're going to remove a defend right now. And I think that's all we do. We have a chance to go for another shop later on, but those cards are just really good. But what do we upgrade? Alchemize for free would be awesome, of course. I think Choke might be worth it as well. But Infinite Blades is probably the way to go. Get the Shiv Innate. Uh, or the ability to set up the Power Innate, pretty much. Yeah. So, Elite. The Book of Stabbing. Should be fine. I'm gonna go big with the potions right now against him. Uh, mostly because we are gonna generate a few new ones in a moment anyways. And yeah, one defend I should throw out though. So our, our defensive side is really, is really bad. But hopefully we can change that. Cloak and dagger. 76. Um... Yeah, probably Survivor, 14, and then an Alchemize. Yeah, okay, there we go. So we take 4 damage, but he's already over halfway dead. We've got a Choke card now. Slice, Shiv, Cloak and Dagger, Shiv, Shiv, he's dead. There we go. Bag of Preparation is beautiful. Our maneuver could be nice, but I think this is a skip right now. Okay, so this is a bit of a shame, because... 
They're both of artifact, so I can't actually use choke. It's gonna get blocked, I believe. We're still gonna play it because it's the, the most damage we can deal there, but it's unfortunately a bit of a waste. Um, and this one is higher damage, so he's down to three. Just gonna do this, kill him. Okay, I could have given him a bit of damage if I had thought about this earlier, but I just realized I don't want to get debuffed from him or by him. So I decided against it. Let's get rid of the Storm of Steel. I'm not gonna play that. And there we go. We don't take damage. He's gonna go in with high damage now, though. Which is where the danger starts. Alchemize. Okay, I gain this one. Not quite enough damage. And even if I hadn't gone with the potion, we wouldn't have gotten the kill there. But yeah, so he's dead now. Thousand cuts could be good. The backstab is also fine because it's it's high damage on the first turn again. The backflip would give us another block card, which we could use, and additional card draw. But the thousand cuts is probably the way to go. Oh, the finisher would have hit an extra time as well it's from the dagger spray. Oh yeah, you're right. Ah, okay, so that was a dumb move. Okay, I need to I need to pay more attention there. Okay, we got a doubt card. But we also got the blue candle, which means I can now play my curses. So that's kind of a, a nice way uh, for that to go, I guess. Ooh. Yes, so. It's just too good to ignore, basically. He's down to 21. I am still dying here, though, basically. Uh, ooh, that helps. So he's dead on one turn. Do I use the energy potion to just take four damage here, though? We can get around fighting any more elites. Just go here, campfire, campfire. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the issue is I do take damage there. I'm trying to figure out. I think we're gonna we're gonna do this, even though we do lose one energy. We do reduce. We take five less damage, and right now I think that's more important. Oh boy, that turn though, just real bad, isn't it? Ten damage. Seventeen. Yeah, that's still better. There we go. Uh, it shouldn't trigger the, the letter open up Sunagun since the curses are status uh, cards and or curse cards and not skill cards. A leg sweep could be really good for us. The masterful step could also work. But I think we need more blocks, so I'm gonna pick up the leg sweep. And we need the extra campfire. We need the regal pill. We need our chance to, or extra chance to heal. Ooh, boy. We've got a finisher, and I've got two cloak and dagger pluses in my hand. So I think we just instantly go for the chosen. And try to kill him right away. Or at least get him as close as possible because he's gonna hex us now. I could also bring him down to 2 HP, but nope, we're gonna go for you. There we go, awesome first turn. I hope it's fine that we do this instead of going for him. Oh boy, so a thousand cuts. This, so he's dead. And then I'm gonna... Bend. We are still hexed, unfortunately, which means we are gonna keep getting dazed cards. And our deck is skill-centric, so that's pretty bad. But we'll see, pretty much. 
Uh, if that's gonna be an issue, I th think we might be okay. Yeah, okay, we can get the kill there. Thank you. And we skip these. We don't need of them. I'm gonna rest here. We kinda need to. I'd like to avoid resting any further, so we are just gonna try to... Ooh, Omamori is perfect, though. Uh, still, we got the Parasite, which we can't really re remove easily from our deck. But still, not bad. Ooh. I'd like to gain the max HP, but losing HP here is bad. So I might actually want to take the curse. Because it just gets blocked out of on Mamori anyways. Yeah, let's do that. What do I upgrade? Thousand cuts plus could be good. Choke plus would be better, probably. I don't know. This is a difficult one. Even Alchemize, getting that for free would be awesome. Yeah, it doesn't show the change, but it's it's a shiv. Oh, an upgraded shiv, okay. It doesn't sh say shiv plus. Finisher plus could be good as well. Yeah, this one is difficult right now. I think I'm going to go with a thousand cuts plus, though. It's the longer play. But combat is going to get a little bit longer as well. So I think that's okay-ish. So, how do we play this? We play the doubt card, unfortunately. Get rid of it. One, two, three. Cloak and dagger. And then I think I'm okay with taking four here. Oh, I should have just used the freaking strength potion. I'm still going to do that now and this one as well to get avoid the debuff. But yeah, I, I caused myself some damage there. I wasn't thinking again. That was dumb. I should have done this differently. Um... But, ah oh well. It is what it is, I guess. So now we deal 12 damage out of the shivs already. Go for the investment explosive potion. Definitely not worth it right now. But yeah, I could have done so much more damage already. Ooh, there we go. We got a choke. Neutralize. Slice. Shiv. Strike. And a finisher for 45. Yeah, this is really good. So he's setting up a metallicize right now. So he's debuffing, which is okay. Ish. I don't need to play the Parasite here. We would get a thousand cuts bonus, though. Yeah, okay, let's do that. For the one damage and just get rid of it right now. Choke. Shiv, neutralize. We cloak and dagger, obviously. So he's gonna buff his strength now, I'm pretty sure. There we go. So now the real issue starts, and then I'm also pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Because the fun person that he is means I didn't draw any defense. And he deals more damage than I have HP. <sighs> Again? I can't get above Ascension 2 with the Silent. It's not possible. I die every time. I'm on... I'm three Ascension levels farther with the Ironclad, which is still not impressive, but okay. But it's ridiculous. It's the same as last run. It's so annoying. <sighs> Seriously? every time now with him. I just can't make it work. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Slay the Spire. I died, didn't I? Well, we're gonna do better next time. I hope you still enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like and a comment, and if you want to see me play more Slay the Spire, just stick around. And as always, thanks for watching, and I hope that you will tune in next time. Bye, guys!